Thunder Jolt and Quick Attack and break through center stage, have Krom blast through with na big Nairs, big Fares, and a lot of uh, combo damage. Yeah. The, oh, nice. The other component to that is that Krom is kind of a character that can struggle in disadvantage, uh, especially off stage, but with a Pikachu backing him up, that might be a lot easier to deal with. In the meantime, we're seeing sort of the overall layout that it's kind of a, okay, we're now seeing a bit of a scramble. Before it was like two 1v1s going on, but uh, with n some nice target switching involved. Yeah, and that's going to be extremely crucial for Alpha Kong and Freshman in order to keep some sort of uh, statement in this game, some sort of control, because of how much they can both get comboed by both of these individual characters. Being able to switch sides and being able to constantly flow between one side of the stage to the other is going to be very important. And this is going to be doubly so with Donkey Kong's grab on deck because if they're able to find those grabs, ooh, ooh, ooh not off stage, that's for sure, as DM yeah. finds the first blood. And I will say that if you're freshman here, you're playing K. Roll, not the fastest character. He's kind of been trapped in the corner while his buddy is getting taken for a ride. He needs to maybe join the fray to be a little on top of things a little bit more because that's oh, another stock gone for again. him. He tries to go not down there to save him and he dies as a result. Oh no. Uh -oh. I'm coming for you, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> He tried. He tried, and we respect the attempt, but it's really looking like both these two are just ledge trap the team. Like, Freshman has been on this right ledge for most of the game, and every time he tries to go in and get into the fray, create one of those big scramble situations that both DK and Cable can uh, benefit from, here they are, back on ledge, back to getting edge guarded. Let's see what ends up happening. Missing the counter on Cable's uh, up B, so now we can see maybe a reversal here using that armor to fight through. Yeah, you got to find this stock sooner is because Pikachu's at 140. Yeah, and I honestly love the way that uh, DM and Ty are playing where, you know, he's going in, but then the Pikachu is behind him. He got knocked back, but the Pikachu is able to immediately stop any sort of pressure. That's going to be the first stock taken, but this is currently five stocks to three. <laughs> of absolute <laughs> bloodbath occurring. Somehow only uh, Pikachu's going to be dying right there. Uh, all right, so uh, it looks like Ty swung and killed DM, but they're they're missing some of their team combos here. Krom, not the most known for uh, grab conversions, but getting that up smash out of shield will certainly close out the DK. Having to uh, go for the immediate share stock, which, I mean, at 154, that feels like, and you're up four stocks to two. This is a incredible position for DM and Ty. They just need to be able to find the stock on, on Freshman first. I will say that you don't even need to find a stock on Freshman because if you hit him, he gets knocked so far away and Kay will take so much time to get back to the stage that if you lightly toss him off the stage, well, first of all, yeah, he is he could die very easily, but that's something that was just happening. He was being put in disadvantage and there was not much that he could do to aid his teammate. God, and this is just two of the best ledge trappers in the game right here and missing the tech as well. Yeah. Not lo both of them looking for the looking for the finishing blow, not finding it, but they were able to close out the game one in a rather dominant fashion, ending it three stocks to zero. Yeah, that was very dominant oh, for both DM and Ty. Oh, yeah, very, even more dominant for DM and Ty. And it felt like at the beginning of that game, the things were kind of going even, but then DM and Ty focused down onto Alpha Kong, it felt like. You know, they would sort of bat freshman away and then just really murder this Donkey Kong off stage. Really just hit him with these Pikachu combos, hit him with the Krom ledge traps. And so if you're freshman, maybe just try and stay in the range a little bit more so you can actually get things done. And Imagine that's getting punished hilarious. for <laughs> killing the, for hitting the opponent. Right. It's like bad, bad rat. <laughs> oh, I just got their tags. I'm an idiot. Rush hour. Oh my god, I just looked at their tag. It's, I, it's, I, it took me looking at Chris Tucker to finally piece it together. And all right, we're. Ooh, I love this. We're going to be having a game on Hollow Bastion. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this actually being played in a serious tournament match. And I honestly love to see it. Just the backgrounds are going to be gorgeous. Uh, and but an, an important thing to look at not only is the. Uh, is the stage a, a very vital change to not only the rule set, but also to everything. But also, there is a Diddy Kong on screen. No more Donkey Kong, no more trying to get smothered by this Pikachu's edge guarding. He's trying to hold onto stocks and utilize that advantage in and of itself. Trying to contest with Pikachu instead of just get overwhelmed by him. Yeah, that being said, he's still having trouble really kind of helping Freshman out. But maybe Freshman doesn't need that. He's been getting off the ledge a lot more cleanly in this game. 
Yeah, I really like the use of this center platform. Freshman is kind of using it as a uh, as an anti-air and a place to obviously retreat to. Um, Hollow Bastion having FD Blast Zones is super helpful. You're not going to live Cryo F Smash forever, but you're giving yourself much more chance at survivability while also holding on to uh, K Rule's innate kill power as a heavy. Did you notice that? He hit the up B, but because it, I think it extended because of the parry, he actually did not get hit by the falling uh, hits. And so Freshman gonna be avoiding big chunks of damage right there. This might be it. Oh, we got the berry, but the actual that he, forward too, tilt just didn't hit. He's too small. He's a little small little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's already tiny and you buried him in the ground. He loses at least half of his height when you do that, I assume. All right, coming on this stage with that up tilt, it, I feel like Freshman really needs to be the heart and soul of this team right now because you have to find stocks super early, and Freshman is in the best position to do it most of the time. Just hopping on with that down air, but only AK ends up dying. Alpha Kong, he is able to recover though. Freshman trying to stock tank as much as possible, but down three stocks to six now, pretty much the same position as before. This team dynamic is doing better in neutral, but they're having the same problem as a team where they're not able to close out stocks. Yeah, and that's another stock gone. Finally going to be taking one of those, but oh, as a but it was a trade, and that's great awareness on DM's part as now we get to begin the ledge trap of a full health K rule. Yeah, just run away from that. Like, let me take center, see if I can do anything with this space. But like I mentioned in, in pregame, Krom's a living cannonball. I honestly, I like the fact that Krom is taking the initiative as being the close range one with those ledge traps because, ooh, for the most part, he was able to armor through a lot of Pikachu's things. So instead, the fact that, I mean, this is kind of, they're deciding how they're going to murder this K roll, you know? They're, oh, <laughs> this no. is five stocks to three, somehow even more dominant than the last game we Come had. On. Come on, and guys, it's his birthday. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not the birthday boy. <laughs> is it actually his birthday? It's a, okay, it's his metaphorical birthday. It's more like, yeah, it's just sad birthday. Energy. That's what the end of that game was. Yeah, that's a, a kid, party hat, three candles in the cake, and nobody else is there to watch him blow it out. Uh, it's an unfortunate way to start the round if you are Alpha Kong and freshman, but it just looked like they had like similar ideas of what they wanted, and I really do like the both the pick to Hollow Bastion and the pick to Diddy Kong. But when you're having the same issue where, man, I cannot reliably hit Pikachu. I cannot reliably close down stocks on Krom. There's just who you would think is the weakness of that team. If you're able to constantly bully Krom and force Pikachu to take stocks, or force Krom to take stocks off Pikachu, that's a really good way to crack holes in that dynamic. But they couldn't get off ledge. Yeah. 